Hey, hope you're doing well today. Welcome back to my channel. Sorry about the cabinet door and the dog, but it's getting late, and so I'm going to do a one-pot meal. It's going to be a quick meal. It's something my grandmother made that I loved. It was my favorite. I have to think of a better title because we only called it Grown Heat and Beans, but it's so good. It's uh, it's chilly, yes, but not chilly. But anyway, I thought I'd bring you along as a cook with me video, and uh, I already started, so let me show you what I'm doing. I have some vegetables. I have a uh, yellow onion, red onion. I have a, one carrot that I diced up, a jalapeno, and a poblano pepper. And I put it in a food processor so it would cook quickly. But I like to start with this, and I'm going to use one pound of uh, lean ground beef. So we're going to go ahead and throw that in. Oh, and there's also garlic in here, so I have to be careful not to burn it. I'm also baking a cake right now, so if I sound a little distracted, I keep looking in the oven. And if, oh, and by the way, I'm videoing that too, so I'm wearing the same shirt, <laughs> but it's the same date. So I hope everybody's doing well. This is a really simple recipe. I'm going to change it up just a little bit. There is... Uh, something that I've never tried before, and it's uh, this, and I tasted this. It's delicious, so I'm going to be adding a little bit of that to this. So I'm just going to brown this up, and I'm going to also add some beans. I'm going to figure out what kind of beans I want to add. You can do kidney beans, pinto beans, uh, black beans, any kind of beans you want, or no beans at all, in fact. And I already added just a pinch of salt. So I'm going to brown this and uh, try not to burn it and I'll bring you back when it's time to add the next ingredient or the seeds browned up pretty well and I like to crush my meat up a little bit but I like a little bit of that brown at the bottom of the pan so I'll turn my heat down so I could go ahead and season it. Now my grandmother just put a little chili powder that's it. I'm going to add just a couple extra things and you can add whatever you like you season to your taste. Let's first add it. A little salt and pepper we will be adding some beans so we need some salt and uh, some black pepper you could add re uh, crushed red pepper flakes if you like I may add some of that I'm not sure but I always like to add onion powder and garlic powder even if I have fresh I just like to add a little extra especially when I'm adding beans I find they need a lot of flavor I'm going to add a little garlic powder. Sorry, I didn't show you my garlic powder. It's just plain old garlic powder. And let's see. And I have some cumin, and I'm only going to add a pinch of this. Probably like a fourth of a teaspoon is all. I don't want much. And a tiny bit of smoked paprika. Just, I like the flavor of the smoked paprika. That's probably about a half teaspoon. Then the chili powder, we're going to do probably... Let's see, I'm not going to, we're going to do probably about two tablespoons. And this is something I don't ever use, but I used it the other day and I kind of like it. So I'm just going to add a pinch because I'm not too familiar with it. So just a little, just a little bit. So let's give that a stir. And then the next thing I like to do is add just a little bit of beef stock to... Get the brown bits off of the bottom of the pan. Let me turn my fire back up. This is really a, a really quick meal when you're in a hurry, one pot meal. And uh, sometimes I like to eat it with a little rice. I just, or crackers. We, we always ate it with crackers growing up. And, oh, this is, you know what? This is frozen. <laughs> my, refriger my refrigerator freezes on one side. So let's add a little bit more. And I'll show you that I'm going to go ahead and add the dark kidney beans. So let's add a little of this. And sometimes I like to put this and let the meat kind of soak in it, like let, let it reduce and kind of thicken up the sauce. But the beans will also help do that. And I did, I don't know if I mentioned, this is 93.7 lean ground beef, so I added olive oil. That's a pretty color already, isn't it? Okay, and I'm gonna use uh, this is the one my grandmother always used, the Van Camp New Orleans Red Kidney Beans. Uh, I find they're, they have a lot of flavor. You need a spoon to spoon these out. And I do not rinse these. I rinse a lot of my beans, but uh, this brand, I do not. 
Let's put two cans. But I like mine to have a little bit of, uh, not gravy, but a little liquid in case you like to eat a little bit of crackers or it looks just like my grandmother did. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I forgot the ingredient that I wanted to try that I showed you guys. The sofrito. Huh. Almost forgot the thing I wanted to try the most today. Let's start with a tablespoon. This is pretty strong. But I think it's going to be delicious. So let me cook this for, you could put, you could eat this with cornbread or even by itself if you wanted to watch your carbs, which we try to do. We like to eat uh, lean ground beef and we like to eat beans. We eat beans a lot, dry beans a lot. In the, you could also do this in the Instant Pot, but it really wasn't necessary because I'd still have to saute my meat in the Instant Pot and my onions because I like to do that. And this lid goes to that beef stock. So actually, I'm going to add a pinch more. I'm going to let it reduce for a little while. Let's give it a stir and do a little taste test. I think it's going to need more pepper. And I'm not sure if the jalapeno I added was hot. Okay, let's see. My grandmother would make this for me special all the time. I don't know why it was my favorite thing. I'm probably going to burn my mouth. Mmm. Oh my goodness. That is already delicious, but it does need a little salt. And I like to use kosher salt. And I think it needs a little bit more pepper. Let's try a little red pepper flakes this time. And sometimes on my dishes, I've been liking uh, pickled jala jalapenos in my food. <laughs> I don't know why I'm just craving spicy food. All right, I'm talking to your health. Let me show you my favorite. I got some fresh parsley outside. I'm so excited. It's still alive. My husband kept it alive for me. He, he replanted it, and I thought it was, I didn't think it was alive, and he showed it to me the other day. I was like, oh, my goodness. It's beautiful. So we're going to add that last. Okay, let me let this simmer for a little while. We'll get another taste, and then it should be done. I'm probably going to let it simmer for about taste 10 minutes. It. Add it just a pinch more chili powder, not much. And a, just a like a fourth of a teaspoon of sugar, and because you don't, it's not chili, so you don't want a really strong chili. To, but I need a little uh, vinegar to it. I think just a little bit of this is gonna make it just perfect. And it's really, it's done. So this took uh, probably 20 minutes, and it's just the perfect consistency. My grandmother just used water. And it was it was my it was so good. Sometimes I like to put uh, cheese on mine or rice or plain. I like it all kind of ways. So let me give it one more taste. I'm gonna turn it off. I think this is just right. And uh, my cake's almost ready. That's on another video though. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. It's so good. So simple but so delicious. So let's add a little, well, we'll put a, I don't know, we'll put the parsley when we fix a bowl. Be right okay. back. Here's the ground meat and beans that Momo made. It's a little bit different, but I added a little cheese. Uh, and I'm addicted to these jalapenos. They're, they're not very hot. And a little sour cream. And it's just, it's good plain as well. So let's take a little bite. And I didn't add hot sauce today. But we did add that little bit of an anchor. Mm. <clears throat> it's just I can't describe it it's it's light but there's a tiny bit of sweetness to it there's no tomato sauce it's so good and simple when you need to put a make a fast meal for, for, for dinner and it's not bad lean ground beef beans Oh, and we even tried it with Pringles. You could put it with nacho chips. Anyway, I'm going to eat this whole bowl. I'm so sorry. Thank you 
for joining me today or tonight. I hope you give this a try. It's it's really good. It's simple but delicious and uh, brings back great memories. Thank you for your watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. I really need some subscribers and uh, I'll make delicious recipes for you. But come join me next time for another great recipe and I will see you next time. Bye. Bye.